They say racing is often a game of inches, where the smallest changes can make a huge difference. Passion and commitment are necessities in a world where certain factors are uncontrollable. The team headed into the previous race with spirits high, but an early misfortune on the second lap left the 80 car in need of a string of repairs. With a huge number of limiting factors in play, the team finished the race far from their goal. After another long month off, the team looks forward to getting back behind the wheel to reclaim valuable spots in the standings. Race number four brings the team close to home at a track that has stood the test of time and is known for its high speeds and technical features. I'm not too worried about the result from Laguna. You know, things happen when you're racing cars and uh, you, you try and push as hard as you can, do the best you can, and, and sometimes it doesn't work out. You know, you come into the next race going, we need to make those points back. I mean, we went from P5 to P10, when really we were positioned to go from P5, hopefully up to P4. What happened to the last race is over, done. We're ready for this race and we're ready to take on whatever comes. High speed, that's how I would categorize this, this track. Everything happens fast here. It's very picturesque, a lot of greenery, a lot of elevation, it's a fast circuit. Fairly long lap, two minutes, and it's an exciting place to race because there's a lot of overtaking opportunity. This will only be my second time racing here on Watkins. I've practiced several other times, but uh, really, really looking forward to getting the Camaro out on, on the track. The major difference with this race is uh, my co-driver. Uh, Mark Wilkins is doing his duty with Kia at Road America this weekend, so he couldn't be with us. Ironically enough, our engineer for the 80 car subbed in for Mark as a driver. I've been really lucky that the team have jumbled everything around to fit me in because they've, they've got faith in me and I guess they, they believe that I can do a good job driving. We know Sasha as a driver can wheel the car beyond belief so uh, him and Anthony will be a great team to reckon with for sure. Between the test that we did here and the race, the series imposed a couple of uh, rule changes against the Chevrolet Camaro. Here we are again, sitting at a new racetrack that we've never raced this car at, with less power than we've ever raced the car at, with a higher ride height than we've ever raced the car at. As a driver, I can almost tell you that I don't know what to expect. Notice that the car does not have as much aerodynamic downforce that it did at, at prior tracks. Unfortunately, we've been chasing the car setup now. We did not have the setup that I wanted or we wanted, you know, for the second practice, but we had a better setup for qualifying. You know, I, I just didn't really get it done. I expected it to be faster. With my speed that I had here in practice, I expected to really see uh, back up in the top 10 again. Didn't happen with a P12 finish uh, in qualifying, so we'll race where we are and uh, we'll give it everything we have. Unfortunately, um, you know, we made a change and it wasn't for the better. I think today I would have been seventh, eighth place qualifying and it still ended up top 10 in 10th place, but I think with all the time that I've spent here that I could have done better. thing this morning, I opened my eyes and uh, opened the drapes and I was looking for rain. You prepare yourself for it, you know, you, you think about the track, you think about where to run and where not to run.
Everybody was a little bit unknown on how the track was going to behave and what, the, what their car is going to feel like. There'll be a lot of guys in the same position that'll, you know, just sort of reel the car in, decide what the car can and can't do, decide what the driver can and cannot accomplish. It's going to be a, a great opportunity to see um, who, can, who can bring the goods in the rain. After struggling to find the speed they were hoping for in qualifying, the team knows they have their work cut out for them to place high in the race. Once we knew the green was, was thrown, we got a nice clean start. I was already looking for a spot, coming out of one, going into two. You know, up through the S, it's a high speed. You know, we were side by side with uh, one of the Astons. It was neat to see what aspects of the track still had good grip, and where at the track there was no grip whatsoever. I took my two warm up laps, and then took the next two or three laps to sort of figure that out while holding position. Where everything sort of turned bad was on the first yellow. There was a, a Mustang in the series that I was behind, and he just didn't get the class split done. He didn't get the pass around done. The positions that I had gained and fought for basically went out the window, and uh, unfortunately left me in a position uh, that it was hard to claw back out of. The focus it takes to drive in that amount of rain is unbelievable. One word to sum it up would be intense. For the longest time I couldn't catch the Nissan in front of me and he made a few mistakes and uh, I reeled him in a little bit and I really started to focus on getting the throttle early, not worrying about rolling in a lot of speed. The closer I got to him the more uh, flustered he got and uh, I just hit my marks and drove straight by him. Unfortunately, we did make our pit stop under green flag racing, which meant uh, as I left the pits, the leader was just breathing down my throat. So I had to find the grip out there quick, and I had to you know, repass the leader to, to get back on the lead lap. I was able to do that, and then we were able to drive away from him. Andrew, my engineer, gave me some feedback that we were one of the quicker cars on the track, and of, of course, as a driver, that's confidence inspiring know that it's like all right you know now just keep your head down keep doing what you're doing immediately Sasha was turning the fastest laps in the race you know it's it's unbelievable that a guy never driven this track in the rain and consistently set fastest laps of the race I grew up with a driving style, starting in drifting and sliding cars around, so I'm very comfortable with the back of the car all over the place. Towards the end of the race, there was 30 minutes left, there was a yellow, I think we were sitting eighth, and we had a good spot to try and hunt down a couple more positions. We take the green flag, I was able to overtake two cars on the first lap, and then the race went red, and, and then it just remained under caution for the balance of the race. You know, to take 31 minutes uh, of racing away at the end was just really frustrating. I, I really wanted the race to go green, um, and effectively that, that didn't happen, and we didn't have the opportunity to move forward. We ultimately ended up in uh, eighth and ninth for, for not only being able to run half the race for the pros, it's a really good day. Top 10 finish, you can never really complain about it. The cars are still in one piece and nice and shiny, ready to go to Mossport. Passion and commitment often bring challenges where lessons are learned and character is built. It's during times of adversity that hard work is a necessity, as we're often closer to success than it seems. 
you know, we just gotta turn things around because there's potential here. And that's the sad part is that we haven't really showed the series, showed the competitors, the fans, that the 80 and the 8 car are, are capable. I think we could have done that today, but the, the weather, the circumstances, the yellow flag for 31 minutes just took away that opportunity. I really think we had the team to beat in the rain. Both pro drivers were setting fastest laps of the race, all the way through, in the rain. In cars that we've never raced in the rain before. And that says something to our engineering staff. That says something about the drive of the team. After another tough finish, the Mantella Autosport MBRP team looks forward to showing their skill at their home track. You know what? Great expectations. We're going to have fun. We're just going to put on a good show and we will have a great finish at Motorsport.